Hey guys, Jay Torres here. Today we're going to be talking about the Polaris Dawn mission. Now, if you haven't heard of this mission before, it is going to be the first commercial mission in which they'll conduct a spacewalk. Now, this mission will be leveraging the Falcon 9 rocket along with the Dragon crew capsule that we have seen been used to send astronauts up into the International Space Station. Uh, this mission has four primary objectives. One, the, far the first being high altitude. So this Dragon mission will take advantage of Falcon 9 and Dragon's maximum performance, flying higher than any Dragon mission to date and endeavoring to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown, orbiting through portions of the Van Allen radiation belt. Polaris Dawn will conduct research with the aim of better understanding the effects of spaceflight and space radiation on human health. The second objective being first commercial spacewalk. At approximately 700 kilometers above the Earth, the crew will attempt the first ever commercial extravehicular activity, EVA, with SpaceX designed extravehicular activity, EVA spacesuits, upgraded from the current intravehicular IVA suit. Building a base on the moon and a city on Mars will require thousands of spacesuits. The development of the suit and the execution of the EVA will be important steps towards a scalable design for spacesuits on future long duration missions. In space communications, this is the third objective. The Players Dawn crew will be the first crew to test Starlink laser based communications in space providing valuable data for future space communication systems necessary for, the, for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. While in orbit, the crew will conduct scientific research designed to advance both human health on Earth and our understanding of human health during future long-duration space flights. This includes, but is not limited to, using ultrasound to monitor, detect, and quantify Venice Gas Emboli VGA, contributing to studies on human prevalence to decompression sickness. Gathering data on the radiation environment to better understand how space radiation affects biological systems, providing biological samples towards multi-omic analysis for a long-term biobank, and research related to spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, SANS, which is a key risk to human health in a long-duration spaceflight. SpaceX and Polaris Dawn will also collaborate with the Transla Translational Research Institute for Space Health, TRISH, BioServe Space Technologies at the University of Colorado Boulder, Space Technologies Lab at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Will Cornell Medicine, John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, the EVA suits that will be used during the Polaris Dawn mission by the crew um, has a lot of different uh, capabilities that have not been seen before in a EVA suit. Uh, one of the biggest things that you'll see with this suit is the fact that it has a HUD and a camera. So HUD being a heads-up display, just kind of um, showing uh, telemetry specific to like vital science uh, for that specific person um, and that will be displayed on their helmet like kind of next to um, the visor area. The other thing is that uh, some thermal management textiles uh, were used and they were borrowed from um, the Falcon 9's interstage and Dragon's trunk um, which I thought was very interesting. Um, and all these enhancements to the EVA suit are part of a scalable design. So something that they can that they can take for these three, I mean for these four different individuals and change it to different kinds of body types um, as we keep expanding um, the limits of who can go to space and the amount of people that go to space. Um, and of course for Elon Musk, uh, it's very crucial because his ultimate goal is to colonize Mars and have thousands of people, maybe even millions of people, um, up in that planet. So having EVA suits is a crucial part um, in being able to successfully conduct that mission.
Now the four people, the four individuals who will be going up to space for the Polaris Dawn mission um, are one, Jared Isaacman. He is the mission commander. Um, you're probably familiar with him from the Inspire 4 mission, which also raised a lot of funds for the St. Jude um, Foundation. Then you also have Scott Petit, who is the mission pilot, and he is a former uh, Air Force pilot. Um, so he has experience with fighter jets, um, and this will help him in his role as a pilot for this mission. You also have Sarah Gillis, who will be a mission specialist, and Anna Menon, who will also be a mission, um, a mission specialist and medical officer. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if the medical officer role will be the only role in which they'll be actually conducting research, uh, specifically like for the radiation part of the mission, because it seems like one of the biggest objectives of this mission, at least scientifically, is to test um, the, the physiological effects that radiation has on people and long-term exposure, um, specifically when doing EVA suits uh, throughout through Van Allen radiation belts. Um, yeah, that those are the four people who will be going up for this mission. Um, I'm really excited for when they they do launch this rocket. Um, as of right now, um, they will be launching no earlier than July 31. But with some recent failures with a Falcon 9, um, well, Falcon 9 booster failing and an FAA uh, investigation being launched, I hope that that does not affect. Uh, the Polaris program from being able to launch in the near future. Um, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations on how I can make this content better or more digestible for you, please let me know. I'm open to feedback uh, as long as it's constructive and you guys tell me um, where I'm failing and you know also what I'm doing right because hopefully I'm doing something right. So. Uh, please support the channel by either commenting, liking, or subscribing. Most of you guys are not subscribed to watch my videos, so please hit that subscribe button. It does not cuss anything to you. And I think I've produced some pretty good content, so you'll be getting some notifications for that as well. So, hope you guys have a great day, and peace out.